Welcome back to another episode. Today we'll be looking at step baffles on saxophone mouthpieces. Uh, clarinets usually don't have step baffles like this, so we're going to look at saxophone mouthpieces originally. Now this first example is fairly obvious. What we have here is we have a cough. J8, star R, J is for jazz, 8 tip opening. Uh, star rubber, this is a rubber mouthpiece versus specials, which are plastic. We take a real, now this is a normal mouthpiece. You'll see here how the tip kind of rolls down into the chamber. But here, this is a extreme step baffle. You'll see this really big flat part right here before it drops down, right? Just drops straight down into the chamber. This allows a really high airflow. This next one here, this is a Kaiworth Jazz mouthpiece. This also has a really high step baffle, not quite as high as the cough one. See it comes right straight down here, it starts rolling down a little bit before dropping right off into the chamber. Next mouthpiece we have is a Selmer, older Selmer jazz mouthpiece. We know it's a jazz because it's on the table. On the table it has jazz. This is a D facing. Now compared to a regular, compared to a regular Selmer metal classical mouthpiece, take a close look into here. You can see how this drops down more into the chamber down to the throat it's kind of hard to see on the jazz ones compared to classical ones but if you look at it from the back side you can see in there there's a horseshoe shape this horseshoe shape is a raised roof in the mouthpiece and that is raised all the way up to the tip up here kind of curves into the tip here one of my most favorite mouthpieces here. So these are a few quick examples of step baffle mouthpieces. Of course, there's many brands out there. And compared to a regular one. So I hope this informs people of what step baffled mouthpieces look like, especially the more extreme ones, and what to look for. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you later.